is going on ladies and gentlemen? I'm Frank KG5AHJ and today we're going to be looking at the sky hooks and the sky hook system and seeing how we can go ahead and get it hooked up to our antennas and mass and uh, see all the awesomeness. I'm getting a phone call. Before we get started, I'm going to do a quick disclaimer off the top here. These sky hooks were given to me by Scott. However, um, all my opinions in this video and thoughts are my own. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Sky hooks. You're like asking me, what is that? Sky hooks are these metal brackets designed by the ham stop for the top of a military mast. So originally, these were designed for the military mast system. You know, the green poles that you see at every um, ham fest out there. Um, these poles are about three feet long and they seed into each other and you just push the mast up as you're building it. And this is designed to be the topper for it. So you sit this on the top element and then you keep sliding up, sliding up, and this has holes at particular intervals to guide your mast. Then at the top of these, these are designed to take ham sticks. Ham sticks will sit on top of these and then you can use that for your mast or you can use the hook to run a sloper off of and get that up in the air. And Scott, that developed these, didn't stop there. He said this is a great system, but it's kind of limited to the military mast. However, he designed an adapter that goes onto it, seat it in the middle, put it through the two holes, put the top on it, and now you have a normal thread for a tripod. So, my monopod, just for demonstration purposes, because the tripod's sitting on the camera, you can take it, once I find the hole, story of my life. Now, you can go to any park, and this is what I'm so excited about. Have some hamsticks on the top here, and now, we're not penetrating the ground. Now, we can set this up in the field anywhere that's not touching a tree. We're not throwing ropes in a tree anymore. And this, it will be perfect to run a polar activation if you're at a park that has stay. We're at a park that has uh, limited access and um, restrictions for us so that we can activate the park and be non-intrusive to the parking and, and follow all the rules and still play some ham radio. Look at this. Look at it. And this is only limited to how tall you got your tripod. Monopod. I would never run it with a monopod. Demonstration, but a monopod. This is so cool. Whee! Boom, that easy to get on and off, and you can go ahead and put your ham sticks here. But we're not done. Welcome to my build bench for today. I've been doing many different projects here. Plus it's been raining, and that's why I'm not outside, because it's been raining on and off. Scott has many different versions of this guy hook. He has the two, which is the original, the three, and then the four came out. And it was pointed out to Scott, the four has these new um, slits in it to help um, you can position your ham sticks wherever you want. And Scott says at one of these conventions, a gentleman came up and says, you know what? These slots, if you made them a little bit bigger, you can put a J pole in there for two meter 440. Guess what I have right here? a J pole for two meter 440. So he went ahead and made these slots. I didn't do it, a little bit bigger and also packaged and he has these published on his website, instructions on how to make a J pole for your antenna. Um, oh, the two slot also has the slots that you can do the J pole with too. That's pretty awesome. So in another video coming up, I will be making that J pole and putting it up on the top here. Maybe the two slot so that can stay at home. I really like this four. This four is what I'm gonna put multiple ham sticks on so I can go to the park with multiple different bands. But that's not all. I also have this fiberglass mask and I don't know how I'm gonna get this into the shot because it's heavy as balls. Another accessory he has created is this is for a copper pipe um, that you can pick up at Home Depot and you can clamp this to the copper pipe and it clamps down and when you do that, it will seed in properly to the um, sky hook and you can hold it to your copper pipe. These also should work on the fiberglass mass. However, 
The interior diameter of these masks um, is a little bit smaller than that pipe. We thought that it should have worked. And um, guess who called me at the beginning? Scott. And we were talking about it and he is gonna have an updated model that you can buy them for, the uh, copper pipe or your fiberglass mask where it can clip to the top. So right now, uh, I'm just gonna have it all built in and, and snug down to the top of the um, second to the highest element. And I'm not gonna extend this all the way up. Oh well, it's gonna be 40 feet and not 45 feet. I'm not gonna cry here. Um, but on his website, he does have both of them up and you can buy the proper one to fit. So you can clamp it to the top and get that extra five to six feet. Um, but I am gonna clamp it here so I can have this at the top of my mast. So my plan is I am going to have the two in my backyard and eventually I will get 440 mast on here and use that as a topper and then I'm going to have this one as my HF topper and I'm going to be able to do multiple different things with this and have multiple different ham sticks or maybe this one for the parks with the multiple ham sticks. I still like this design um, for the J pull um, antenna, but there's just there's so many options. I, I'm gonna try them both. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this um, clamped down so we can have this on our mass. And I'm going to probably run this um, two slot in my backyard with a sloper antenna and um, get it up on the air. <laughs> Forget the shaky cam here, I'm on a shaky ladder. I went ahead and installed the mass in the backyard and I have the Lars cap here with the skyhook topper. And again, uh, this is already all the way tightened. It's just kind of loose on mine. Scott says he's redesigning these again for this particular mast. So those should be up by now. And I'm just gonna use it, leaving it resting on the um, second element from the top. That's fine. That's fine, it's not going anywhere. And I am gonna go ahead and get this finished setting up and get on the air. Here it is, the quad sky hook that has the alpha antenna uh, hooked up to it right now. I had that up earlier and um, it, it was solid. It was very solid. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just kind of leave it up there for now that the game plan is maybe in a week or two, I'm going to get the um, J pull on there also and um, just have that up there permanently. All right. so. Say in the meantime, you're at a park or somewhere else that you don't want to put up a mass in the tree or they tell you can't put a mass in the tree or they tell you can't penetrate the ground. What are you going to do then? Next, we're going to take the uh, sky hook and the pod adapter and then we're going to set it on your tripod just like so. And boom, we got a ham stick and um, that's all we need to get on the air. You can actually have two ham sticks because you have two different mounts to put this on. I got a 10 meter and I'm just gonna try to get on 10 meter today. Final thoughts time. At first, the sky hook itself was a very limited system. It was only really designed to go on top of the military mass and I've known about them for a couple of years. And that's why I haven't really featured them on the channel. However, with the new additions of the Lars and the pod, the pods, the tripod, adapter attachment. This system starting to become more versatile and I can see it being used in more everyday ham setups. Like on top of my uh, fiberglass mask, you can put it on top of a copper pole. And with the additional of the pod, you can go ahead and put it on top of your tripod. So I think this is starting to become a very versatile system that uh, we can start using in almost in um, our everyday ham. Uh, setups and also I'm going to have it part of my pack now for going to the parks. Um, I'm going to be having this for a non-intrusive penetrating system so I can go ahead and operate within those environments. Um, I still have to figure out a couple things more out here but overall I really do like this system and I think it can be a part of y'all's system too. Um, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to uh, sponsoring me. If you want to become a sponsor, the links in the description below for Patreon and also the YouTube memberships are active. Go ahead and click on that member button. Thank you for watching. Y'all are amazing. And as always, go forth and conquer.